Along to the Joy Stadium, we're in Manchester and it's the Barclays Women's Super League back in action for a lunch. The City stick with the same starting 11 and match day squad to the one that drops to the bench and is named as a sub-captain. Robert Powell knows that it will be difficult for him from his point of view just to keep momentum moved. Villa get us underway without a win in the Barclays. It is much expected of Aston Villa this campaign. They have their last fixture here at the Joy Stadium was also up on this left-hand side, but the ball played back in fields. Sagawa. More than a couple of clubs have scored in that time in the shape of Leicester. Well, they're sitting fairly deep. Short corner taken. Hasagawa will play it back. Plus 46. Was some seven shy of Chelsea's five points. Ching up a little bit here. Every single time that City have to withdraw towards the halfway line, it gives Aston Villa the opening for it. Palms out, wants a little bit of help. Found it in the shape of Jill Rhodes to curl this one in. But he's short with a header. Sabrina D'Angelo makes a cut for sure against Liverpool last weekend. This one didn't quite have the angle, the direction to trouble D'Angelo. Present for Villa so far this season. Kenneth Taylor suggested that Villa have been better than their points haul. That is certainly true. And they come forward with a bit of men menace here with Hansen. He does get the ball in. Wonderful touch and goal from Gabby Nunes. The shock is on. Villa spring the surprise. A first top flight goal in England for Gabby Nunes. A wonderful run on the left hand side and a delightful flick to beat Yamashita. Excellent record for club and country. And Gabby Nunes has given Villa a lead. Will City have to wait as long to get back on terms and ultimately in front? A little short though. Robinson unable to take it on. City have it again. Greenwood to dig out the cross. Only sure just bounces off a midriff. Yamashita goes long. Ooh, one bounces forward here for Hemp, who will get there first. Fine save, D'Angelo. Showed real. Tried to do the right thing, D'Angelo did really well. Now of the angle. Arms out. Body shape was good, doesn't go to ground too early. Really good goal. Still plenty of sky blue shirts inside the penalty area. Maybe waiting for a better angle to get the delivery in. Here it comes. And Second assist of the season for Hansen, incidentally. Team high at the minute. And if they 4-2 defeat here, it won't be enough to see them top the standings into the international break that comes up. City just been a little sluggish. Puck. Popped up from that right hand side. Rod is calling for it, so is Bunny Shaw. Good looking ball in! Rod unable to supply the finishing touch of getting a toe to this wicked ball in. Onside, brilliant movement. Oh, that is desperate. So, so. Puck injects a bit of pace and still going forward. Really good run. Got to Hemp, looks to curl it goalwards. D'Angelo pounces on that one. Robinson, I was unlucky she didn't get the bounce and then just slipping on the turf here with patient build up play and sticking to the process. 
Hemp, who's been lively in attack. She is again. Fowler to her left. Threaded through by Hasegawa. Here she is again. This when conceding the first goal, just uh, the one draw and no defeat. So still a big, big ask from a Villa point of view. Short. Hasegawa. Greenwood gets ready. Likewise, D'Angelo. Clip towards the keeper. Comfortable catch. It's featured in a couple of WSL games. Not as active as I'm sure most people thought that she would be. And so from her point of view, she wants to play every minute. have added on time at the end of this fixture one or two stoppages for injuries this is hemp coming forward Shaw calling for it Rod wants it as well d'angelo makes the save it was toe poke towards goal no real significant power in the shot she wanted to take it early you could see why good movement from hemp again took a touch combative player who was sent off against Manchester for both teams coming up at the break it's manchester city nil aston villa one Thing from this fixture, they'd still be favourites to pick up the three points here. Such a terrific start to the season. City start this second half, trailing Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Gabby Nunes with the only goal of the game so far. The Sagawa's touch, and it won't be that much longer, I suspect, before we see someone if the score stays as it is. James scored an absolute cracker. His uh, men's side spurned the opportunity of Ember away from home. Park, short. Spray to Curl. Cool. To try and nod it down, it's just obviously. Gareth Taylor's side have won all 4 to nil this season at home. Barcelona, West Ham. Brighton and Paris all brushed aside without conceding. Six of the last seven at home and 12 of the last 14 in all competitions. Nine of the last 10 in the WSL. All numbers that you would have thought should add up to a match. Might expect to pick up some points with Palace at home after that. So they beat in the League Cup. Of course, those teams involved in it's in and it's pretty much as you were. The pace of play the same, the scoreline the same. City looking to alter that. Hasegawa. This is Park. She delivered the ball, good looking cross, flicked away and out for a corner. Just to take it away from a clutch of City players to get on the end. That's a go. City just looking to build a bit of momentum here. It's something we've not seen all game. Hasegawa. Short. Daily stretches can't get there. Hasegawa has it. First time to the right. Just gives him the opportunity to run at the Villa back line here and does get the cross in. And Shaw makes a good run across the penalty area. Dribble out for a corner. Good defensive approach the hour. Manchester City near Aston Villa one. And the shock. Fowler. Oh, well, he took a deflection and Angela had to readjust her feet to push that off the post, but she takes no chances here. Shaw waits. Rod wants it. Just park, just park on the edge of the area as well. The hobby punched away but not completely. And the flick back in is brilliantly executed by Lauren Hemp, who scores once again against Aston Villa. 
brilliant technique. Seemingly had got away from Hemp here, but the first touch there, the header just kept the move alive. And then brilliant technique here to get enough on it to go over the defenders and keeper, but not too much. Squad, of course, she is in the England squad. She'll be aiming to win cap 60. Wide areas, corners in particular. That one was from open play that has uh, caused Aston Villa all the problems. In quick succession in the uh, corresponding fixture last season, is she going to do it again here? She scored just four minutes apart in that. Uh, Just uh, losing a footing. Hasegawa forward grounds is going to play through the middle. Someone over on that right hand side potentially, and Robinson's come to the left, so slight change for Robin. Harvey to find hemp looks to run at the villa defense again it's a really smart run looks to pull it back one might be able to take it on wonderfully worked brilliantly finished city have turned it around hemp this time with a brilliant assist and ward with the finish to beat d'angelo well it was patient build-up play and then that injection of pace some fast feet and determined play, some skillful wing play from him. Teams once more. Never panicked, never moved. Not a shout at, at the edge. Could have another go. Villa give it away. Hemp to deliver. Shaw with a header. Not had too many chances. Now in the end of the game. One wasn't. Daly to flick on. Looking for the run of Salmon. City have it back. And there are going to be gaps to open up here. Shaw, she was onside. Still going forward. Or was she onside? The flag eventually is raised. is put on her backside as Villa come away with possession. Strong play from Grant, but and she loses out. City have it again. Hasegawa once more. Hasegawa for Alex. First change for City. And the Japanese international who was on duty at the attacker. Villa just worrying City a little here. Yamashita, Asagawa. Five minutes remaining. Villa trying to press. Bali loses out. The ball spins away for a corner, though. Opportunity here, maybe. And have City just stood off Villa. Villa's expected goal. Uh, figure this season is 7.56 has scored four going into the weekend so it does suggest that any regression would be upwards rather than downwards I think they're gonna win more games don't see them as the worst side in the WSL by any stretch but it will be five without success in the league but I think they've got enough talent to win games against the rank and far been a bit unlucky maybe in fixtures so far well, that was a little sloppy. Villa are on the counter here. Daly still coming forward. Short as well to win it back. Daly stayed down. Referee intervenes. Target. Mailing it was that makes the interception. And then Grant looks to turn and power forward. That's going to be a free kick. Game is not over, Josh. 
see how Kearns wants it short, but I'm sure it will be driven towards the penalty area. There we go. And Yamashita with a comfortable cut. Grant once more. Flighted to the edge of the area. Shot on the turn. Well, difficult from Salmon. Ambitious effort. Good skill to take it down. You can see what she was trying. Manchester City. Trying to force themselves upon the home side. Another long punt forward. Will it break inside the area? It might do. Well, Mailing it was that got forward. Looked to take the shot on. Just a hopeful pump forward here. Fullback got forward and then she just wasn't able to get good purchase on that. She did get a touch on it. There were defenders either side. Hemp again and still going. Looking for the curler. Needed to start it a little further out. City fans want the whistle. I think they're just about to get it. City do it the hard way again. Another come from behind success. And they've beaten Aston Villa here by two goals to one. Yeah.